and actual of glass ecology hand painted designs. So today I decided that I'm gonna show you how I make one of the best seller designs of glass ecology, which is the wave design. So uh, I paint on a lot of things, <laughs> but mostly of course I paint on glass. And one of the things that I love about glass is that it's see-through, alright? So, for me, I imagine it's like painting out of thin air, okay? So, when I paint, sometimes I do this first. You know, for example, that's why I love painting outside. So, if the view where I'm at is, for example, mountains, or it's just a simple wall you just I just do this I just put this on the background and then I imagine what would I paint today that I can just encapsulate in a cup like this so what I'm gonna show you is the process it's just the process because uh, I always tell my clients that each piece is one of a kind and this is just my style of painting the, the waves of glass ecology so it's not how you should it's I'm not telling you that this is how you should paint your wave it's up to you but I'm just uh, I just feel like uh, showing you how I make them my, my own process as an artist okay number one I only use primary colors so for the wave design I actually use all the primary colors plus black and white except for red yeah I don't use red of course in my wave designs but I use blue yellow white black sometimes I even add gold or silver here are the materials that we are going to need for this project glass cup and saucer, some sponge, paint brushes, adhesive tape, some paint thinner, cloth and alcohol for cleaning, enamel paint or oil-based paint. First, we clean the glasses using the cloth and some alcohol. Make sure it's really clean. Now we're gonna use the tape to cover the lip of the glass. Now it's time to mix some colors. With a mixing palette, I'm gonna try to achieve the color teal. I'm gonna start by putting on some white. And then some yellow. If the paint is gooey, you may add a little bit of paint thinner to, to change its consistency. Now we're going to add the blue. Now it looks a little bit like teal green. If you want teal blue, we're gonna add more blue. This is how I start the base of my wave design. Once you achieve the color that you want, we're gonna start 
applying this on the grass very lightly I don't have to mix it all up. And I'm gonna start painting the shape of my wave using blue first. Just a plain color of blue. bit of blue to mix with the teal color and the white I want them to mix naturally just like a wave so just mix all the colors together like that and start brushing some more on my cup to create those natural Colors of wave. clean the brush because I need some of those blue colors but I'm gonna put more white so I'm just gonna put white here with my brush and gently dab on the edges of the wing
gonna use the round thinner brush to add those little details Normally, we wait two to three months to cure, but sometimes two weeks is enough. 